Today, we will look at the complete prediction of December 7 IELTS exam. The date is for academic module only. Overall, the test will be moderate to bit tricky. Starting with listening module, it will be easy or easy to moderate level. In part 1 of IELTS listening, you will find a conversation going on between two persons. The speakers are very likely to change the answer. So it's extremely important to pay attention to the audio in order to listen it thoroughly. Candidates often make mistake here by listening only the first word and not paying attention to the conversation afterwards. As per Cambridge standard, it will be a social conversation related to some inquiries. You can expect, fill up questions with one word and or a number. Part 1 will be super easy, as per our prediction. In part 2, you will hear a social conversation, talking about something of general interest, by a single speaker. You will often need to listen for specific information like, dates, names, and important words. In this section, you can expect, selection of letters, short multiple choice questions, and finally, have a look at map completion as well. Part 2 will be an easy one, but focus more on multiple choice questions. About part 3, it will be an academic relevant conversation between three or more speakers. Focus on large multiple choice questions and match the information as well. Part 3 will be moderate level for an average student. So focus more on this section. Coming to the last part, it will be standard as per Cambridge listening tests. You can expect an academic content talking by a single speaker. And the questions will be fill up with one word only. Before your real exam, you must solve Cambridge listening tests 14, 15, 16 and 17. These tests are enough for your listening practice. This is all about listening module. Now we will move on to the reading section. You will have just one hour to complete 40 questions. So you must use your time wisely. About passage 1, you can expect sentence completion in different formats. Like note completion, table completion, or else summary completion. Then you can expect 5 to 7 true false not given questions. Passage 1 will be generally easy. About passage 2, focus on match the information questions. Like, list of headings. And which paragraph contains the statement. Then you can expect one set of fill up questions also. This passage will be bit moderate. Always remember that, timing is the only key. So read all the instructions carefully and start doing with the simple question types. Moving to part 3, it will be bit tricky. Focus on true false not given. Summary completion fill up questions. Then list of scientists' name matching with the given statement. And finally, multiple choice questions. In multiple choice questions, you will need to identify the main idea. In order to locate the correct section of the text, you must solve Cambridge reading tests 13, 14, and 17 before your real exam. About writing task 1, this time you need to focus on table chart, map, bar chart, and pie chart. If you want to purchase band 7 plus map template, you can contact us. About task 2, focus on two-part type essay. Which means, essay having two questions. And you have to answer each question in separate paragraphs. Then you need to focus on opinion type essay. Like, agree-disagree essay. To what extent essay? Advantage outweigh disadvantage. Like that. You can purchase Oro 200 words band 7 plus task 2 template for best results. And finally, focus on discussion type essay.